After many months of promising to do this bag review, I am finally sitting down to do it. So this is going to be a review on the mini bucket bag from Mansour Gabrielle. And uh, the reason I wanted to do this video today is because they're actually relaunching their shop tomorrow. So hopefully I can get this video up tonight. If not, I'm going to try to get it up really, really early tomorrow, which is Thursday, March 19th, because like I said, they're relaunching their shop. So they're going to have all this new stock. And I want you guys to be able to reference this review in case you're kind of wondering if the bucket bag is right for you. So I just got home. Um, I tried to get a little bit gussied up for this video, <laughs> even though I have like second day hair. I am just wearing like a slubby t-shirt, um, but I hope you guys can forgive also the background behind me. It's still kind of messy. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know I'm trying to finish my beauty room uh, finally, so I have my bookcases behind me. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. So this bag, um, I have done many uh, bag reviews before, so it'll be, you know, pretty much the same style or same layout, I guess. Um, I'll talk about the aesthetics of the bag first. So I got the mini bucket bag and I chose the mini because I thought it was really cute. I'm really into kind of smaller bags right now and um, I love the classic style of this particular one. I love how sleek it looks, how simple it looks. Um, it doesn't have like flashy logos. So in terms of craftsmanship, it's really well made. Um, it's really simple, but uh, it's Italian leather, and um, it was about four twenty-five. So this is the black. Um, with the raw interior. So the great thing about the Monster Gabrielle bags is they come in a lot of different color combinations. So they come with the black exterior and a slew of different interior colors. I prefer the um, raw interior mainly because it makes the bag a little bit more malleable because um, if you get the coated interior, I feel like it's a bit too stiff. Um, so I don't know, it's all about preference, but um, my mom had ordered or I had ordered the large or the regular size bucket bag in the black and the flama interior, which is a red, and I just felt like it was a bit too stiff for my liking. So unfortunately, I do not have the regular or the large version to show you guys to compare, um, but you should know that it is taller, it's a little bit wider, and it also comes with a detachable, um, kind of like a, a pochette. So I think that's a really great value. It's definitely worth considering if you're thinking of uh, between getting the mini and the regular size um, because I mean you're only paying maybe like $75 more um, plus the exchange rate because keep in mind this is all in US dollars right now and the exchange rate from Canadian to US is really crappy um, but uh, keep in mind that you're paying the extra $50, $75 for the um, bigger size but you're also getting like that extra extra wallet style piece, um, which I think is pretty good value. The mini does not come with that, and um, it does come with a strap, obviously. Um, and you can wear this strap either like on your shoulder, and just have it kind of like hanging beside you. Um, you can also do it cross body. The strap is adjustable. It's not removable, obviously, but it is adjustable. And um, if you really wanted to make this um, much shorter. You could poke your own holes in here, um, but for the most part, the shortest it really goes is maybe only just just below the waist. So it doesn't go super super short. Um, again, I'm about five three, so um, for me that's not very short. If you are very tall or maybe have a long torso, it may come a little bit shorter on you. Um, but for me, it's like the perfect size and I love that you can wear this bag crossbody. So again, it's a pretty simple, easy design. It just has a drawstring um, closure, which is good and bad. It's good because yes, you can close it so your, your things are a bit more secure when you tie it up. But the bad thing is it's kind of 
of um, cumbersome to have to, you know, untie and retie. Also, I prefer to tie my bag up in a bow, but again, it's super cumbersome to, you know, untie it, root through the bag, and then tie it back up again. So sometimes I'll just kind of leave it open like this, and um, it doesn't look hideous or anything, but I just prefer the bow for aesthetics. Um, but it's okay to leave it open like this too. Inside it is uh, pretty bare bones. It is completely um, just open inside. There's no pockets, there's nothing like that. Like I said, I have the raw interior and um, I did not find that it uh, shedded or transferred on any of my um, belongings, so that's good. But if you do get the coated interior, it is a much smoother look, um, probably easier to clean. You can just wipe it down. Um, the raw interior is a bit textured, so um, it's a bit more difficult to wipe things down if you have, you know, something spill in here. But you should know that with the coated interior, um, it is more prone to, let's say, scratches from your keys or any sharp things that you may be putting in your bag. And also the exterior is uh, prone to scratches also. So on the black version, it's really not that noticeable. Um, I have a few little scratches in here and the scratches just kind of add character to the bag in my opinion. But if you're really OCD about that stuff, um, it is, uh, it's very prone to scratches like that. I have another color here. This color is, I don't recall exactly which one, I think it's called the Brandy. Um, it's the Brandy exterior and again the raw leather interior and um, I love, love, love this color also. And um, you can see that this one shows much more scratches than the black one. It's just because of the color of the leather. Um, it's also a bit softer than the black version. It's a bit more malleable, which I also really like. I love like soft leathers like this. But um, again, same strap, gold har hardware on basically all of the bags. Also on the black is like a, a pale gold hardware. It has the plain interior with the leather drawstring closure. This is what both of the minis look like. Um, again, I absolutely love these handbags. I think they are super versatile. You can wear them with uh, jeans or a t-shirt or maybe a sundress. I love that you can wear it on your shoulder or crossbody. It's really handy to me to have a bag that has the option of being hands-free, especially if you're shopping or just out and about walking around and you don't really want to be holding uh, a handbag on you. This size also fits quite a lot of stuff. Um, it doesn't fit as much as the larger version does, obviously, and sometimes I do feel like it's a bit too small for the things that I want to bring. Um, but, you know, sometimes for weekends, if I all I'm bringing is like a wallet, maybe a makeup bag, a camera, it fits perfectly in here with no issues whatsoever. So it all really depends on um, your lifestyle, how much stuff you carry on you on a day-to-day. -day. Um, if you carry like a, an agenda, a wallet, a makeup bag, a water bottle, notebook, things like that, um, may not all fit in here. And if it does, you'll have a very difficult time closing it. So it'll just be really stuffed. So the last thing I wanted to quickly mention is that this bag is very, very light. So the bag itself without anything inside is super, super light. It just gets heavy um, with the more things that you put in it, obviously. Sometimes, um, you know, when I fill this bag, I think to myself, holy crap, why is my bag so freaking heavy? Um, because the bag is just super, super light, so it's really just the stuff that I carry around that is adding the weight. Because honestly, this bag is super, super light. If you just put like a phone in here and a wallet, um, maybe a couple lip glosses or a lipstick or something like that, um, it, you can carry this for days and it will not hurt your shoulder um, or your back because it just is super, super light. So what I did when I purchased this, and I purchased mine when it relaunched in um, October, no, December, um, I actually had it sent to my US address because at that time our exchange rate was, um, you know, fairly competitive 
and it was just cheaper to have it sent there, go pick it up, than have it sent to my Canadian address and then have to pay duties and exchange rate and all that stuff. So for me, that was the route to go. But if you would just like to order it online and have it sent to your Canadian address, totally fine, they accept that. Um, you just have to pay duty and then also the exchange rate on top of that. So um, it probably will come to, I want to say, like 600-ish dollars. Uh, the bag, this bag that, I sh that I'm showing you right now, it's only $425 US. Um, but because of the exchange rate and of the duties, so if you get, get it sent to a Canadian address, you'll probably be paying about $100 for shipping and duties and then plus the exchange rate. So it might come up to closer to $600. So just be prepared to pay that amount um, because, you know, the price on the website is not does not reflect the duties and the shipping and the exchange rate right now. So as for packaging, it comes in this really um, cute dust bag that just has the Monster Gabriel logo on it. And it also comes in this adorable pink box. I don't know if you guys can really see it, um, but uh, it's just a really, really nice pastel pink box. Okay, that's basically all I wanted to tell you guys. Um, bottom line is I absolutely love this bag. I love the classic look. Um, I love how versatile it is for my lifestyle. It fits everything I need. And I would definitely purchase this again, if not another color. Um, and I would also probably purchase the larger size. And that is it for me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And uh, please let me know if you're going to be picking up anything from Mansour Gabrielle tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!